What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Great X Gaming. I'm Jax, and we're back with Silence of the Sleep. I'm super curious to see where this game goes, actually. So, uh, we're back with Captain Ellipses here. Let's see where it goes. Dun, dun, dun. What the hell was that? I don't understand. Where the hell am I? Also, and that man speaking riddles, he just vanished before my eyes. Also, I realize where part of this guy's voice inspiration comes from. The League of Draven. Yeah, I've been playing too much League lately. I must be dreaming. None of this is happening. But what if I'm not? And what was the reason he was talking about? I can't remember anything. Something must have happened before all this. I don't think I have a choice but to play along. Though the road ain't pretty, I must prepare myself. I cannot know what awaits me. Huh? Is that... Music? The hell is going on? I don't hear any music. Wait. I do. Faintly. Let me just check something here. I found out that these do have left and right. Okay. I think this is where I jump off. <laughs> the fuck? I mean, what the hell is this place? That's my question. Is that the bartender? Is that the bartender? Who is that guy? That's a good damn question. Oh, miss? Hello. Good evening. Sorry, can I get past to that room? Absolutely not. I can't let anyone in. Why? What's inside? Well, it is, um, I guess I could tell you. There's something valuable in that room. But I forgot something inside. Good try. Sorry. Well. Yeah, he's, he's emoting how I'm feeling. Hey. Hmm? <coughs> Was it seven? No. Oh, sorry, pal. I was deep in my thoughts. Huh, you lost something? Sort of, yeah. I can't remember the code for that safe. Ah, uh, that happens. Yeah, but it has been four days already. I really, really need to get it open. You have spent four days with it. Yes, there's something really valuable for me inside. Can I help somehow? Yes, yes! I hid the code somewhere in here, but I just can't remember where. Okay, I'll start looking. Damn, how did I forget that code? All right, let's see, birds. It's a painting, I don't think I need it. Just junk, nothing of use. All right, well. We'll come back to him if we need to, but for now. Ooh. Hello, brother. Hello, Mr. Reeves. Hello. Hey, wait, how did you know my name? Not feeling too well today, Jacob? I can't say I am. Who the hell are you? Don't you recognize me? No, I have no memories of life before all this. You understand you were traumatized, yes? I... Really? Who are you? Jacob, I'm your psychologist. Huh. I had... to have a shrink? Why? You must understand, Jacob. Healing can only begin after acceptance. But I can't give you that, Jacob. You must take this journey. So much lies buried beneath. More than you could ever imagine. What is this? Am I insane? No, Jacob. You are far from insane. I'm not too sure about that. I understand what it must feel like, but listen. Don't trust these people. They are ghosts. Mere lies. I sense you are not here to stay. Am I right, Jacob? You got that right. I need to make some sense in all this. That is a good thing, Jacob. It is the only way to heal your scars. I have kept this for you, Jacob. You will need it once you are ready to leave. Thanks, I suppose. A piece of a riddle. I wish I could help you more on your journey. Who knows, perhaps at some point I can again offer my assistance. Aye. Hey. Hello, Jacob. How are you? All right, I suppose. Sorry, but I'm ask ask. How did you end up in here? Jacob, my presence here is trivial. I'm more of a spectator, even though I'm here to help you. You must focus, be determined, and hold on to your sanity. It's also messed up. I don't know what to believe. 
I understand, Jacob. But what I don't understand is how you could have known about Gerald and Brad. I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. Hmm, never mind it then. Okay, thanks, I guess. Stay strong, Jacob. Gerald and Brad. When the rain keeps falling and wind blowing with their cold hand rocks the cradle of the child, preparing a new journey to the coming road of the unknown. Pretty, but the fuck does it mean? Alright, well. Should we go back to our clueless friend here? Oh! It's painting. 696. You got it open? Yeah! Finally, I can see a picture of my family. That is all I have. Here, take this. Maybe you can charm someone special like I once did. No problem. Thank you. Oh yeah, the code is 696. Yeah, have to write it up. Thanks, pal! Oh, that went all right, yeah? Hey, miss. Do you want a rose? Nope. Of course not. All right, so I got a rose. Oh, my. Hello, Red. Hey. Hello. What is this place? Ah, uh, a new face. You are in Moonlight Motel. Huh, it doesn't look like a motel to me anymore. Who are you, and all these people? My name is Alice, and these people, well, it wouldn't make sense to me to lift names, right? Good point. I'm still trying to figure out where the hell I am. You are not alone there. It's like an endless loop. A loop? What do you mean? We have been stuck in here for an eternity already. Or so it feels. But this place is not too shabby when you make the decision to stay. Hmm. Huh. Don't you want to leave? Well, some of us tried to leave once, but the only way out is through the riddle. So we worked together to try and solve the riddle. But there were too many of us. People turned against each other. We decided to bury it all and try to get along. Things are better now. I'm sorry. I'm not sure I follow. Uh, silly me. Let me explain. When we first arrived, a man with a red tie and a pale face appeared. The butler! Bartender. He said we were his guests and we could stay as long as we wanted. However, he also told us we were all free to leave, leave but not without consequences. Consequences? What do you mean, try to leave? Ah, the riddle. At first we liked it here. But after some time, days began to feel the same, the same conversations with the same people. Nothing ever changed. That's when our frustration started to show. At the time, it felt like our last effort together. We decided to solve the riddle. This place was slowly driving us mad. But it was too late for that. The scar was already there and we were too stubborn to forget. It felt like a miracle that we are all still in the good terms. It still does. Besides, I'm not sure any of us really wanted to leave for the unknown. Why? We don't know what is beyond. It feels safe in here. And that riddle, I don't think it... I think it wouldn't have been too hard to solve. My understanding, the meaning of it is more symbolic than anything. Quite a story. Say, you don't happen to have anything related to that riddle. Actually, I do have something. Not sure why you need it, but here it is. Take it. Thank you. My name's Jacob, by the way. It was nice chatting. I have to be going now. Goodbye, Jacob. <laughs> hey, Alice. Hi, Jacob. I'm sorry to ask, but how did you end up in here? You tell me. I have only fragments of the past, if they're even real memories. It's hard to explain, but there's no clear of things, only strong feelings. I can see pitch black night, something sparkling in the air, and everything's turned twisted in the blink of an eye, and my heart skips a beat. Then comes the warmth. It feels as if I'm nothing more than a spirit. I try to reach higher, but instead, I wake up in this motel. I'm sorry. Don't worry, Jacob. Maybe it's for the best that we don't dig deeper. Might be. I need to go. Take care of yourself. You too, Jacob. <laughs> Give her the rose? Nope. Alright. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Alright, so, uh... There's gonna be a puzzle there or something, but first, uh... Let's keep exploring, yeah? Sprint, Jacob, sprint! Come on! Oh, the door's in the other wall now? There we go. I can actually go into the ladies' room. 
Interesting. Because, you know, this... Looks... Yeah, those correspond. Whoa. Well, damn, if this isn't beautiful, but, uh... Doesn't seem like there's anything out there. Hey, you! Come over here! Yeah, alright, dude. Sorry I called you like that. That's okay. What did you have in mind? Say, have you noticed that red-haired lady hanging around the lounge? Yeah, I noticed her. Why? Well, it's a bit awkward. Well, call me again if you can spill it out. I love her. I've been wanting to talk to her, but don't know how. You look like a man that knows his way around women. <laughs> okay, maybe Jacob does, but, uh... Eh, I'm an awkward mess. Well, I don't consider myself a ladies' man, but what did you have in mind? Excellent. I want you to give me a date with her. Now, before you refuse, listen up. I have something you'll need it if you're ever going to leave this motel. Hmm? Why don't you use it and leave? Well, this place alone is not enough. Besides, there is this lovely lady. Fair enough. You mentioned I would need more than just one piece to get out. What was all that about? Well, this motel is some kind of riddle. You need to collect all the pieces and solve the riddle. I'm not sure how, though. You know, the Red Tide told us this. He said we needed all the pieces if we ever wanted to leave this place. He added that we could stay as his guests, but also mentioned a twist of darkness that would befall us if we were to leave. Darkness. A riddle. You know, there's no other way out. Twisted darkness, childlike laughter, creepy motherfucker. I'm afraid not. This is the only way. We once tried to solve the riddle with the residents of this motel. That did not end well. Hmm. I don't get it. That man obviously does want wants to leave. Why well, give us a chance? Yes, I have been thinking about that. I think this is our damnation. While there is hope, we push through, fighting the pain, only to deceive ourselves. But without hope, what is left? Only pain and despair. But let's cut the chase. What do you want me to do? I have written a letter to her, but there is something I want to include. Well, I'm listening. A red rose! Classic. Where could I find one? That's the thing. I swear I saw a silver rose somewhere. And you just need to look around. Okay, well, I'll get back to you once I've found it. Thank you so much! Oh, please don't tell the red-headed woman any of this. It's found. No shit, Jacob. Yeah, t talk, to, talk to him. Thank you. Did you find it? Yeah, I found it. Ooh, exciting! Now I'll just slip rose petals in and seal it. <laughs> Glad it sorted out. May I have my reward now? Mm, I was kind of hoping you could give this letter to her and tell her, you know, that she has an admirer. Uh, really? I mean, really? To hell with it. I'll give the letter to her. Yes! Once you deliver, I come back to me from the reward. Trust me. I will. Jesus Christ, squirrely dude. Alright, Red. I can put this to better use? Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm a dick, but uh, fuck it. Delivery for you. What's this? A letter? Hmm, let's see what it says. Love, together for eternity. Ugh, cheesy. Sorry, did you say something? No, 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 it's my throat. <coughs> Hi. Say, who is this mystic gentleman? It's the guy that hangs around the fountain. Bartholomew Fitz... What a name! Bartholomew Fitzjeffrey! Sounds like our guy. Oh, thank you for delivering this letter. No worries. Uh, do you think you could guard this door for a little while? Well, I'm not in a hurry now, so why not? But promise me you won't enter the room. I would never. Thanks, I'll be back soon. Bye. Hello, riddle piece. <gasps> Jesus fucking! I'm losing it. <laughs> fucking hell. I also like the whole thing they've got going where important characters have one bit of color. I got the v-neck in white, the lady had the white uh, shirt. Oh, I don't think Bartholomew had anything. Allison's got her in hair. 
Hey fellas, can't you play anything else? I beg you. All right, let's go talk to our friend. I delivered the letter. Great, how did you take it? No, wait, don't say. As promised here, take this. Thanks, I'll get going now. All right, so I got three heavy ring-shaped objects. Fuck it! Oh, wrong door. I need to go to the ladies' room. Is that not it? Oh, want it there, want it there. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Oh, I see what I have to do now, I think. All right, so. We've got this. Top right, bottom, middle. Okay, so. <laughs> and then we went to the men's bathroom where there's a, this thing. Here. Something moved, all right. One of the rails. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Excellent. <laughs> Put the piece on that rail, and then it should, when I rotate right, middle and. Oh, wait. All right, let's just check this map. Uh, yeah, okay, we're good. And then I've got to put them all in turn once more. Well, lots of running back and forth in this game, but... uh. Switch over to this. Put the piece. <laughs> Why was that lady guarding the riddle, though? <laughs> also, how did it take them this... How did it, all of them not solve it? Can I tell her I solved it? Hi, Jacob. How's it going? Do you like it here? There's no nice way of saying it, Alice. A little longer and I'll lose it. I remember that feeling, but don't worry, and let time do its magic. Well, I better get going. Bye. Goodbye, Jacob. Alrighty then. You. Yes, it's me, sir. What the hell is going on? Who are you? Calm down, sir. I am your friend. Listen, sir, you cannot trust anyone. They are only here to confuse you. Oh no, you seem to be the one to hear confuse me. Enough games. What is this place? Who are these people? This place cannot be explained in words. And these people? They are malicious, sir. Scum, if you don't mind me saying. I'm not buying that. I know you trapped these people here. I have not trapped anyone. Besides, they are all free to leave. You knew right from the start they could never leave. That was never in my hands but theirs. They had a choice they chose not to use. Hi, Satan! <laughs> so what now? I solved your stupid riddle. My riddle? You don't understand, sir. How could I? I'm sorry, sir. I understand it's all so confusing. I can't explain the meaning of all this, but I can show you the path you must travel. I must warn you, sir, that road is filled with suffering and terror. Are you ready, sir? What?
What are you doing, Satan? Oh, yay. Oh, shit. There are doors throughout the world you can peek or listen through. When you're facing a door like this, one of the following icon appears. When a door icon appears, you can peek through the door by clicking the right mouse button. When the ear appears, you can click through the door by clicking the... Listen through the door by clicking the right mouse button. Oh, shit. It's back. And I just realized I haven't saved in God knows how long. Bye. Well, it's jammed. Of course it is. God, I gotta track this thing through sound. Oh shit! God! Men's bathroom. Yeah, nothing happened now. Alright, well, this seems like a good place to leave it off. A uh, good place to cut the episode. While I try to figure out what the fuck I'm doing. Oh, this game is so cool! Oh, I love it. I love everything about it. It's got the right mixture of creepy. The monsters are so inhuman. They're fascinating. It's, it's not, like, frustratingly hard to like figure out what you're supposed to do but there's enough puzzle to make you want to know and everything's so surreally weird oh it's so good anyways if you like the video like comment subscribe share it with your friends share it on social media if you do leave a comment i'll try to get back as soon as possible i do love receiving your comments and i do love interacting with you guys and thanks for watching later y'all uh, uh, what the fuck is that thing what the fuck is going on